Hi y'all, welcome back. Today I'm so excited. I'm going to be sharing with you some Kiss Magnetic Lashes. And these bad boys were actually sent to me from Kiss SPR. Oh. I've done a ton of false eyelash try on and demos. You can check them all up here. And I guess all my hard work's been paying off because Kiss noticed me and they sent me a little PR package with a couple of these different lashes. So I decided to try out 01 for today's video. So again, these are the Kiss Magnetic Pre-Curved No Adhesive and Reusable Lashes. It says they are natural and comfortable with a lightweight bottom lash. This is the style 01 and as you can see, it comes with a applicator to help get the lashes on. These lashes are made in China and Kiss is out of New York. At least their Kiss USA is out of New York. So it's a three step process. They say to rotate the applicator to load the top and bottom magnetic lashes. Place both magnetic lashes along the inner edge of each applicator curve. Both lashes should curve upwards. Number two, rotate the applicator back to its original position. And then number three, place the applicator so that your natural lashes are in between the two magnetic lashes. Press down on applicator to connect the magnetic strips and then release the applicator. To remove them, you just take your thumb and index finger and then slide the magnetic strips horizontally apart to release the magnetic seal. And it does advise that you put on mascara prior to lash application, so I'm already wearing mascara. Let's crack in and take a look at this crazy applicator. Here's what the lashes look like up close and out of the packaging. It does come with a cover, but because these magnetic lashes are maybe more easy to reuse if you end up liking the effect then a traditional lash I kind of wish they had like a more classy packaging but these lashes retail for about 12 US dollars so maybe I'm just being a little bit picky so here's the applicator as you can see one side does bend and then there is just this magnetic strip on both sides so I'm gonna start with my left eye and I'm going to have to put the top lash on the top and the bottom lash on the bottom with the KISS logo facing down, I guess, to get them on. I also noticed they were careful to point out that the magnets go on the proper side. So the top lash magnets will be down and the top lash magnets will be on the top side of the lash, which will make it really easy if you are a little bit careless when you're taking them off so that you can see which goes where. It slides into the magnetic holder pretty easily. You can see I have the top lash in there. Let's try the bottom lash. Make it easy, they tell you to slide the tray aside, which makes perfect sense. So thank goodness they engineered it so that you can slide it apart, otherwise the magnets would just get stuck together over and over again. So yeah, now I'm fully loaded and ready to like plop it onto my eyeball. Let's see if it's as easy as they say it's going to be. Alright, there's my very first attempt and I don't know why my eyes are watering, but they're watering. And aside from the bad job I did, I think I actually put them on the wrong side. It looks like the longer edge is on the inside, so I'm actually going to swap them out. Okay, loaded once more. The long ones are so long. They do kind of easily get tangled in with the other side. Oh, I can't stop blinking. I think, I think part of the reason I'm struggling is because I'm trying to do it all one-handed and I need to hold a mirror because I wear glasses. Maybe if you have good vision or you're wearing contacts, it'll be a lot easier. I'm just gonna bring my mirror in here and try to use two hands to navigate. Hmm. This might be the last PR that Kiss sends me. Okay, nope, okay. Now every time I slide them together, they're sticking to each other. 
I watched a video about this and she made it look so easy like it was no big deal. And dropped a lash. Oh, got it. Oh, I did it. All right. They're straight from the applicator. I think they do need a bit of an adjustment. And you can see that they're doing that thing where if you don't place your magnetic lashes just right, they kind of stick out from your eye. Ho, 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 okay. That eye might have been my best attempt at magnetic lashes ever. I feel like it's really close to my eyeballs. It's almost like pinching my eyelid. It kind of makes my eye want to water. But uh, it's definitely on there. I think I need to take off the other side and give it one more go. Did I do it backwards? I think I did. This, of course, would just take practice to get used to. Figuring out the orientation of the tool. And again on this side you can see it's just not curving as nice to my eye shape as it is on the other side. But uh, yeah, let me try it one more time on this side. Give them a bit of an extra curve. I managed to get them on again. Um, I feel that slight pinching, which means I think I got them really close to the lash line. And if I just kind of like fandangle them a little bit more comfortably, it's definitely better. So I like the first bit of this lash, but again at the end, it's just kind of sticking away from my natural lash line. And I think if I look down, it'll be quite apparent that like it's not right along my lash line. And I also still think it's a little bit too straight at the tip of this one. I don't know if the bands are just... I'm gonna try to put them on one more time. I feel like you probably can adjust the amount of curb you get by applying them exactly so on the applicator. So this time I was really careful to like kind of maximize that, maximize that curvature. That time was definitely a better. At the end, I think it's still its weakest point. And I almost feel like they're facing down. Oh, but when you look down, look how far away it is from the lash line. Gonna do it one more time. I think from just trying to get them on, I've kind of displaced some of the lashes. So even though theoretically they might last longer because you're because you're not using glue at the same time if you are struggling to get them on that also might weaken them just as fast <gasps> and actually a magnet fell off okay the magnet is gone off of this top lash already you can see the magnet fell off on the front of this lash which is gonna make them pretty useless i wonder if they got stuck to the other lash so that is a bit of a fail. Let's see if I can get them on anyway, just for the heck of it. I can see the, the magnet got stuck to the other side of the lash. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I took them back off. Let's take another close up at the lashes themselves. So again, this is my first time trying these lashes and I try to be fairly gentle with them. I don't know, this one side just lost its curve immediately and you can see I kind of mangled the bottom lashes even though I tried to brush them back to a normal position while retrying them. And you can also see that magnet came off, whereas the other side where I got it a lot quicker, I mean, they look like they're in good shape and ready to be used again. So what do I think about these lashes? 
First of all, if I had spent my own money on them, the 12 bucks US to buy them and they broke right when I was practicing how to get them on, I would be really disappointed. Especially because like here in Canada, they're probably gonna be close to the $20 mark. If that had happened, I would have been pissed. I think the, I do think the thin band is lovely and the magnets were hard to see and I loved how well organized everything was. I've tried other lashes before and I just gave up on figuring out which top, bottom, left and right was because it was just too complicated. I also really love the idea of having different tops and bottoms. I just think the bottoms might have been a little bit too long which made application a little bit trickier. I feel, I feel like the bottoms could be pretty minimal because um, you're really just using them to get the magnets to get to the top. So I don't know, I guess if you really like them, maybe you could trim them yourself just to kind of like get rid of that extra length at the bottom. I guess I'm not too sure why there's not magnetic packaging. Like they don't seem to want to stick in the packaging. It seems to be adhesive, but not magnets. So that's a missed opportunity. Overall, I love the idea of the applicator. I think it's going to take me a little bit more time to practice. You saw what they look like on one eye. I thought they were very beautiful. If you can get them on just so, it takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of work. If you don't get them close enough, they're going to look kind of straight and weird, especially when you're looking down. And if you get it wrong, they're going to look horrible. So you're basically going to have to take them off and start over. I do like the idea of the applicator. I think that's really helpful for like maintaining a curve. Um, and it does feel a little strange putting it over, sandwiching your natural lashes in between there. But I can see how someone would get pretty good at that, especially if you have shorter lashes to begin with. It might make it a breeze. I'm going to give these Kiss Magnetic Lashes in 01 a uh, 2 out of 5. I'm sorry, Kiss. I love your normal lashes, but these ones just, uh, especially with the magnet coming off, that's pretty disappointing. And because that, and like if I just had a hard time getting them on, maybe I could recommend them to you, but because they're completely like unusable at this point, I don't know guys, I honestly can't recommend them because like I never got to wear them out of the house. Like, I guess I could have worn one eye. I would recommend them to like the crazy people out there that love testing things and like experimenting. Like maybe if you haven't tried this applicator and you are into magnetic lashes, that might be for you. I had a super fun time trying them out and just like, and just seeing what they did with the applicator was really interesting. I thought it was um, a good attempt and maybe with practice I'll get better in the future. Anyway, thanks again to Kiss for sending me these lashes to try out. Um, like I said, I do have one other style, so I will do another video in the future with this other style. <laughs> Let me know if you found any magnetic lashes that you really love. Like I said, I don't think they're like ready yet. The technology is not quite there, but I think in the future, like it's a possibility. <laughs> so. Yeah, so let me know what you're thinking. Or let me know if you think we're just wasting our time here. We might as well stick to normal glue. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's struggle. Make sure you hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for 6,000 subscribers. I really appreciate that. And now that we're getting into the Christmas season, what I would love for you to do is to actually send me in a Christmas card and I will send you a Christmas card back. So my P.O. box is down in the comment section below. Maybe just a Christmas card or even a postcard and I will return the favor for you. And aside from that, thank you guys all so much. Here, shout out to my patrons who helped make these videos possible. Thanks to you for watching. Thank you again to Kiss for sending me these lashes. I did not pass the dunce test, but we'll give it another shot in the future. And with that, you guys, I will see you all in Monday's video. Video. I will see you all in Monday's video. Bye.